Welcome back, everyone. Another week of Taurus Tech Talk here at SG Taurus. I'm your host, Matt LePan. This week, we are once again joined by our senior technical support representative, Phil Valpe. Phil, welcome back. Good to have you on again. Thanks, Matt. Good to be here. Today, we're going to be discussing how to add accessories to Mitsubishi Electric indoor units using a CN24 relay kit. This is something that our technical support team has been fielding a lot of calls on lately, and it's something that really will help out the homeowners that you're serving out there as a dealer and isn't overly hard to do. Phil's here to explain the benefits of it and how to actually set up that relay kit. Thanks, Matt. We take a lot of calls of people who are putting in air handlers that are made by Mitsubishi and people want to add things like electric heat, humidifiers, ERVs, and it's simple to do with a relay, but I'm going to go through the steps with you to show you how to do it. Let's start off first with uh, our M and P series air handlers. The M and P series air handlers are designed as heat pumps, but because they don't always have the capability to heat your house when it gets real cold, we like to put maybe an electric heater or a hot water coil in the ductwork on it. So Mitsubishi has a external kit adapter, or it's called a CN24 relay kit, that plugs into the board and will run an external source of heat, i.e. a hot water coil or an electric heater. And how it works is the Mitsubishi thermostat that would be connected and being used as a regular thermostat for the heat pump, when the temperature goes low enough, it will turn on the electric heat along with the heat pump and or turn the heat pump off and have the electric heat on alone, depending on your settings. So the relay kit is a standard small relay. It is 24 volts DC coil. It is not an AC coil. So it's a 24 DC coil and it plugs into the printed circuit board on the air handler. Now, because there are various stages of heat that we could have and various sizes of heat packs, we have two plugs on the board, one for the first stage and one for the second stage. So if we had a 15 or a 20 kilowatt heater, that might be in two stages. So on the board, we have a CN24-1 and a CN24-2. CN24-1 is your first stage. CN24-2 is your second stage. And in the relay kit is a wire for one of those. So CN24-1 will be used with one CN24 relay kit. If you have a two-stage heater and you are going to use it for two stages, you will need two CN24 relay kits because you will need to plug in another wire to CN24 too. So to, to wrap that up in a nutshell, if you have a single-stage heater, you need a CN24 relay kit. That would do a single-stage electric heat or a hot water coil in the ductwork. If you have a two-stage electric heater, you will need two CN24 relay kits for your second stage. Your Mitsubishi thermostat will do all of the switching. Uh, all you'd have to do is plug it in and play. There is a piece of paper that does come in the CN24 relay kit to show you where the plugs are and where they go. So that's how you put an electric heater in. Now, the next thing that we get a lot of calls on is on humidifiers. We can add a humidifier to a Mitsubishi air handler. The Mitsubishi air handler uses the CN24 relay kit, and it has a wire in the package that plugs into a plug called CN25. CN25 on our air handlers is the output to turn on a relay. That relay will close and energize your humidifier. So the CN25 plug is energized when your humidistat calls. So if you have a humidistat on the wall, that gets wired to the Mitsubishi air handler on a plug labeled CNF. CNF is provided in the CN24 relay kit. So there are two wires in the kit, CNF and CN25 for the humidifier. 
So your standard humidistat that comes packaged with your humidifier or that you have on the wall or that you're going to use plugs into CNF on the air handler. When that humidistat calls, it will turn on the fan in the air handler if you set it that way, and it will turn on the humidistat with a dry set of contacts on the CN24 relay. There are dip switch settings that allow you to turn on the fan if the heat is not calling during humidification or to only allow the humidifier to run if the heat is actively calling. So we'd have those settings on the board and on the, in the CN24 relay kit. So that's for humidification. So in a nutshell, if you have a steam humidifier, you mount the steam humidifier, pipe it into your ductwork, put your humidistat on the wall, plug it into CNF on the board, and when it calls for heat, we will put a dry set of contacts to close your steam humidifier and turn the fan on on the air handler. So that's how the humidifier works on the air handlers with the CN24 kit. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk about is uh, ERV or energy recovery units. It works similar to the air handler. The wires in the CN24 relay kit plug into the board on two terminals. One is CNER. CNER is where we call for the ERV to come on. Any switch that closes the CNR relay terminals will then energize our CN24 relays dry contacts to turn the ERV on. So a switch on the wall, a switch on a thermostat, an auxiliary switch anywhere, and it must be an auxiliary switch. Mitsubishi does not make it on their thermostat. So when we call on the switch for energy recovery, it will then turn the fan on and it will turn a dry set of contacts on to energize your ERV. Now you can have it one of two ways. You can turn the ERV on and it will only come on if the fan is already running because it's in heat and cool, or you can turn the ERV on and turn the fan on on the air handler to energize the ERV. So the ERV can work separately or in conjunction with heating or cooling. All of these instructions, you know, I've thrown a lot of numbers at you, but all of these instructions are in the air handler installation guide. On the installation guides for the air handlers, it says electric heat, ERV, and humidifier for hooking up a CN24 relay kit. So what the CN24 relay kit does is takes an input from an external source for one of these products. It outputs to a relay dry set of contacts to turn on your product. So if you want a humidifier, you want an ERV, or you want a hot water coil in the ductwork, we can do this. That's great. Thank you very much, Phil, for taking us through that. Again, adding these accessories to your indoor units with the CN24 Relay Kit. If you want to buy the CN24 Relay Kit, you can look on our website or you can ask your TM or somebody at Inside Sales or at the counter. The part number is CN24 Relay hyphen kit hyphen CM3. So make sure you're asking for that. And then again, you can listen to Phil and He'll take you through all of it. If you do have problems, you can call the tech line. Just call the main number, ask to get put in the queue, and you'll get Phil or Russell or Ken or Mark or John, and they'll take care of you and make sure that you are all set adding these accessories to your indoor units using the CN24 Relay Kit. want to thank you all out there for tuning in, and we want to remind you that Taurus Tech Talk is heading to Las Vegas this fall. If you're ready to take your contracting business to the next level, you have to attend EGIA Contractor University's annual EPIC 2021 event. EPIC 2021 will take place on October 28th and 29th at Paris, Las Vegas on the iconic Las Vegas Strip, one of the best hotels on the Strip if you ask me. The event will feature celebrity keynote presenters such as Damon John of Shark Tank, John Taffer of Bar Rescue, and Captain Sully Sullenberger, the airplane pilot from the Miracle on the Hudson. We're going to be there recording Taurus Talk and Taurus Tech Talk live. Make sure you check us out on the media row at the EGIA Epic 2021 event. And 
even better, you can get $50 off your registration if you use our promo code today. That's Taurus50, T-O-R-R-I-C-E, the number's five zero at epic2021event.com. Again, that's Taurus50 at epic2021event.com. You don't want to miss it. We're going to be there. We're super excited to see everyone out there in Las Vegas. Again, thank you for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Pandora. If you can find a podcast, you can find us. Just search Taurus Tech Talk. Follow along on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn using the hashtag Taurus Tech Talk. And as always, catch all of our Tech Talks on our website, sgtaurus.com backslash podcasts. I want to thank you again for tuning in. We'll see you next time on Taurus Tech Talk.